Hi there, it's Christy with Peace, Love & Games, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Hardback, the deck building word game from Fowers Games. So first the setup. Give each player their starting deck, which consists of the letters A, E, I, L, N, R, S, and T, plus two random of the starter prestige cards. Place a tracker and ink and remover with an easy reach of the players. Shuffle all of the offer cards. These cards include the genres mystery, horror, adventure, and romance. Place the deck face down and draw the top seven cards from the offer deck to make the offer row. Each player is going to shuffle their own personal starting deck and draw five cards. And now you're ready to start the game. The first thing you do on your turn is spell a word. To spell a word, you play cards from your hand. You could play any card that you would like upside down as a wild card. You won't get any benefits for that card, but you can use it to spell a word. Once you spelled your word, you discard any unused cards from your hand. Now you get to resolve the card benefits in any order that you choose. Basic benefits are the benefits that are on the card or above a line if the card has a line. These basic benefits are always gained. Genre benefits found below the line are gained if played with at least one other card of the same genre. The stars are prestige points, which moves you up the prestige track. Coins are used to purchase new cards as well as ink. You may now purchase as many cards and ink as you can afford. When you buy a card, you put it immediately into your discard pile and replace the card bought in the offer row. Before you purchase cards, if at least four of the cards in the offer row cost six cents or more, or if at least four of the cards are of the same genre, then you can choose to flush the deck, discard all of the cards, and replace them with seven new cards. Ink tokens can be purchased for one coin each. After you have finished, you discard any cards and any ink tokens that you use during your turn. And then draw back up to five cards so you can prepare for your next turn. Afterwards, while other players take their turns, you can start working on your next word, including using ink and remover tokens. Ink tokens are used to draw another card. You place the card face up and place the ink token on it to show that it was gained with ink. You must use all of the cards with ink tokens on them in your next word. You cannot use them as wilds. If you're unable to use the letters, you forfeit your turn discarding all of your cards and used ink. You may also discard three ink tokens for one coin. Remover tokens allow you to remove the ink from a card putting it into your deck to use as a regular card. Some cards, you will notice, are oriented differently. These are timeless classics. These cards act like regular offer cards, except for a couple differences. First, they remain in play and are not discarded after your turn. You will continue to get its benefits on your turn as long as it remains in play. Other players can use your timeless classic card for their own words. If they do, the card goes into your discard pile. If you use another player's Timeless Classic card, you do not get any of the benefits, only the use of its letter, but it is the only way to get a Timeless Classic discarded. When a player reaches 60 prestige points, play continues until all players have had an equal number of turns. Then the person with the most points win with the number of remaining ink as the tiebreaker. So that's how you play hardback. I hope that that got you ready for your first game. If you like the video, please thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment below if you have any questions or anything you just want to say to me, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.